guys, it's not Cross with Mark and Mark here. Let's go straight up to our matchups that have just moved on to the next round. Let's. What about? I mean, the Philly versus the the Nets series. Maybe we can talk about that because I know that's your favorite. What are your thoughts about that Philly versus Nets matchup? Uh, first time. I mean, the first game, I was I was kind of nervous because of that how they're playing. That gave me hope. I yeah. the Nets. I like the Nets. He picked yeah. the Nets, right? But like. <laughs> For like, I was actually nervous because of um, our coach, Brent Brown. Brent yeah. Brown is not really consistent, and I, like before, like before, like last week's show, I said, um, Boban will, uh, D'Angelo will go down and get screened, and then Boban will just stand up there while D'Angelo will just shoot in his face, and yeah. it was three possessions in a row, yeah. and he didn't change anything with defensive schemes or anything or double team him nothing he just made him score three times in a row for game one and two mm -hmm. he, and then ben simmons will just stand up somewhere and and b will get double team and then basically cancels out two players mm -hmm. and he doesn't change anything he did change something in game four when ben simmons had to screen something but this this series kind of annoy me because of how Brett Brown handle the game. Mm. So I'm kind. That's the reason why I'm kind of scared of the Raptors. But you know, Raptors. I mean, Sixers is still gonna go all the way. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> we'll leave it up. We'll talk about that in our next uh, yeah. segment. But like, what about? I had to give it to Brooklyn though. Yeah. For one point, I mean, you got D'Angelo Russell, yeah. uh, yeah. Levert was yeah. really good. You no, know, Jared Allen was really good too. Yeah. I mean. It, they're just a, they're still a young team and yeah, everything. That's a good right? exciting young core. Yeah, that that's a very good young core. They're still yeah. developing and everything. Yeah. I mean, they can. This is a takeaway for them yeah. to go into the next season or whatever. And yeah. once like maybe if they make it back into the post to like to the sorry to the playoffs again, then like they, they know what to expect, yeah. right? It's a good young core to build it around. Is. Yeah, and to get experience this early. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. they have Joe Harris coming like with around that too and everything yeah, you yeah. have a, a couple of vets around there yeah, as well then really was nice for them too yeah, yeah. It was. they have a lot of really talented guard if they, they can get, just get they're gonna have a better bet better in next next season, next season than yeah. jared dudley so. yeah hopefully yeah. that's the uh, <laughs> uh what about the uh the couple teams that have swept <laughs> i mean boston against pacers and then milwaukee against detroit what are your thoughts about those uh I'd have to say for the for Boston, I say I'm not gonna say that they were lucky, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say that they're lucky, yeah. <laughs> just because Victor Oladipo yeah. was injured and everything. So obviously yeah. they're undermanned, yeah. right? If you know, if Vic, maybe they would have won the series, yeah. but like I feel like Victor Oladipo would have given them at least yeah. what take them to Game Six at least, yeah, at least win yeah. two games at home and everything. Mm -hmm. But overall, I just feel like with Boston, they're still pretty inconsistent and like going on to the to the next round and everything it's just i'm still pretty iffy with them yeah yeah, yeah. i kind of agree got, they kind of got lucky but yeah. this game i mean this series kind of helped them to kind of like gel in yeah they kind of help them because um to work together <coughs> because um i think by the end of the season you you, you start seeing them the chemistry start going like start kicking in mm -hmm. because in the beginning they were struggling which who's the the, like we know who's the best player, but who's the number two? Mm -hmm. yeah. But in the Pacers game, you saw Tatum stepping up. I think he is the playoff yeah. Tatum, like yeah. you know, not playoff P. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I still, I still, didn't, I can't trust them still because yeah. yeah. we can't. I can't define a team based on. Um, I, I want. I've always thought that a team is defined by the obstacles or the the challenges that they face, and I feel like they haven't faced the challenge that have defined them as a team. So. This is did, this matchup did not help them at all because the yeah. fact that it was an easy matchup. If they were to face a team with a healthy Old Depot or a healthier, uh, maybe a team like uh, Detroit with Blake healthy, I think it was it would have been a better kind of indication of what they could be because when they when things are going you know get going they're good, yeah. but I've seen them face so challenges and they they yeah. just you know they tumble upon they stumble when they have to face a challenge. And I think that Milwaukee is going to give them that. And I think it's going to show their true color as a team yeah. and show them that I think they have some issues that they need to deal with. And it's going to just show up during the Milwaukee game. It's just more like, who's, will yeah. they break down? Yeah. Will they start pointing fingers and everything? Because yeah. that's, that's what sense. happened with them. In well, the at season. least um, uh, Gordon yeah. Hayward is kind of like yeah. getting better. Yeah, like yeah. by the end of the season, like yeah. he had a good series against yeah. the Pacers, but yeah. we can only hope. Agree. <laughs> we can only hope they carry the momentum. Yeah. What about the uh, the the Milwaukee and Detroit series? Like, was that even? Um, I mean, 
Blake was injured, but what are your thoughts about the whole series? That was a given, yeah. to yeah. be quite honest. I think that was just unfair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, because you have a team that's, what, ranked first in, yeah. defen in defense, and then you have fourth in overall offensiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, like, let's look at it. They just all complement each other, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the probably, like, what I'm really looking forward to going into the next round is, you know, Bledsoe and Kyrie for that matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want right. to see that, too. I definitely want to see that. Yeah. Because oh. with Kyrie, in order to defend him, like, he... he it's hard to get him with length because he's so quick. You kind of need someone with a body, like a like mm -hmm. a, a body that can kind of, you know, bang on him when he's trying to make his moves. Yeah. And Bledsoe would be a pretty yeah. good matchup on or Brogdon in a sense if he comes back in the series. Uh, and I think Giannis. I yeah. don't know if they have anyone that can guard Giannis. Is the only yeah. thing. I'm not just. Know. The thing is, I'm not surprised mm. if they beat the Bucks. Mm. That's the thing because. Um, I think Brogdon is a, a big factor for for Milwaukee because mm -hmm. he's I think he's in 50 40 90 which like is like the yeah. percentage yeah. that's like, like that's hard to that's have, hard to do player, like you yeah. know Steph Curry Steve yeah. Nash and other yeah. ways and that guy is actually gonna help yeah. if they're gonna go forward mm -hmm. to against uh, the Boston so what's Celtics. your prediction on the series so we have B Milwaukee or we have what like well the Boston. easy choice is Bucks but yeah. I think um there's a like I won't be surprised if Boston beat them because yeah. all the if uh, Boston, it comes down to coaching. And yeah, if yeah. Boston does beat them, I think it might go to Game Seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if like if it's given with Milwaukee, I say it might go. If they win, it's going to be like six. Game Five or Six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see yeah. that too. What about uh, what about the the Utah versus Houston series? I know it was kind of quiet, and we kind of knew Houston was the upper hand. Like, any thoughts about that whole series in general? Yeah. For me, that was given as well. Yeah. yeah, like I think that was really easy for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know how to play when it comes mm -hmm. to postseason. Yeah. They know how to show up into these kinds of things, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, for me, it's it's actually like same team. Like I said yeah. last week, um, it's pass first, uh, point guard, shooting guard is the same, kind of like the same, and then the centers are just rebound and you know. So it's yeah. kind of like. Used, I mean, Houston is the better version of Utah. That's the reason why it's, yeah, yeah it's true. given, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And I think James Harden is just on a roll still. Yeah. After his perform MVP season performance. I don't know if he's going to get it. Giannis, I think, still has that strong case. But, yeah, this is his chance to kind of prove himself on the playoffs because this is where he's been highly criticized as a player. Yeah. Is that he shows up during the regular season and then when playoff time comes, he's, um, he runs out of gas. So, this is kind of where... He hel it helps that he has uh, Chris Paul on his side that's healthy. Yeah. It's giving him a chance to kind of rest and not always be the main focus of the offense and the main primary ball handler. So yeah. maybe this is going to help him in the second round. 